Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to cover another simple topic uh, that is difference between functions, store procedures and views. So this is another video as part of the SQL series. So yeah, let's jump right into the topic now. So what we're going to cover is we are going to cover um, a few examples of view store procedures and functions and um, and from there we'll actually grasp some of the differences and we'll go over them in detail at the end okay all right let's jump right into the examples so let's just first look at the views so as um, as um, a view is nothing but um, a customized view of your data that's stored on the tables so what what do you mean what do we what do we mean by that so for example if you have a table called customer you know not every information on that customer is actually relevant or and you also might want to you know um, restrict people from accessing certain columns so in those cases you can create a view basically to only select certain columns from that table another use of view is basically you can create a customized view of data within your tables so what do we mean by that? Okay, so in this case, for example, I'm saying I want all the customer orders. So if I want to get all the customer orders, I need to join the customer and the order tables and also the stock items table. So, and I get the customer name, order date, stock item name, the total price of the order, and then the um, quantity of the order. So basically I get all that information in one single uh, view. Um, if I want to get that information in uh, different places of my application, now what I what benefit I have is I can actually just call that uh, view instead of you know writing all that big statement um, every time. So you're basically promoting reusability by you know creating such a view, and also you have gained some. Um, usability for for your user as well so that they don't have access sometimes you know access to restricted columns and also they get um, a customized view so they don't even need to bother about any other columns that are there on these tables okay so let's just create that view now and if i um, select from there with the customer id of 166 i get all the orders for that customer okay so that's a view one thing you might have noticed is I can't actually pass anything into this view. So it only really, I can only write a select statement and I can't pass any input into this view. So that's, it is a bit restricted in that sense. So the only way if I need to, I can pass any input into that is I, I can basically treat it as a table. So I basically say select star from this view and pass um, my conditions here. Okay, so that is a view. Let's look at some functions examples. So in functions, there are different types of functions. We have scalar functions, we have inline table valued functions, and we have multi-statement table valued functions. So what is a scalar function? Scalar function is used to return a value of a particular data type, um, and it can have multiple statements in the body of the function. So for example, here I've created a function to get the total sale value for a customer. So this basically uh, is giving the total sum of all the uh, orders that the customer has placed on our application. Okay, so I'm actually passing in a parameter into this function and I'm calculating the total sale value <clears throat> so for that I've created a variable and uh, I'm actually get, uh, joining to the orders table. I'm getting the total sale value or by using the sum uh, and I'm actually using the customer ID that's passed for into the function uh, and I'm actually returning that total sale value variable back. So as you can see there's quite a lot of differences between the view that we've just created. So one, you can pass in the parameter. Um, the other thing is you can return one single value. And third thing is you can actually have multiple statements. So you can actually uh, have some logic here um, that you can 
execute by just running this function. So if I create that function now and then say, give me the total sale of uh, for the customer 166, that is the total number of um, total value of the order space placed by the customer. Okay, so let's move on to the inline table valued functions. So this is um, kind of similar to functions, sorry, kind of similar to the view we've just seen. However, there's one difference that we can actually pass in an input into it. So inline table valued function can only return one single statement. So you can't write multiple uh, statements. You can only have one single select statement. Um, however, you can actually use the parameter that's passed in in your query. Um, and obviously, as you can see, instead of returns uh, a particular data type, here we are returning a table. Okay, so if I run that, um, I can actually call the function in that manner by just passing in the customer ID as the input parameter. And that's giving me the same um, outcome as our view did earlier. Okay, so we also have one more type of function which is multi-statement multi table valued functions. I've, I've not created an example, but I've given a template here so we can understand based upon the earlier examples we've just seen. So again, we create a function with a particular name. We can actually pass in multiple inputs. Um, even in the previous um, functions we've created, we can actually create multiple or pass in multiple inputs or multiple parameters. So one difference you see with the multi-statement one is you actually define what the um, output table format is so or the return table format is so you give a name of the table um, you need to obviously have that prefix here um, and you create you basically say what are the columns you're returning uh, as part of this function um, another difference between the multi-statement and the inline table valued function is here you only have uh, one return select statement However, here in the multi-statement, you can actually have a begin, begin and end, and, and within it, you can actually have multiple statements. So this is somewhat similar to the uh, scalar functions we've seen here. So, which means you can actually execute some calculations or data manipulations, um, and basically return an output table in that format. Okay, so that is a multi-statement value function. So obviously, as you can see, there are quite a lot of differences between a function and a view. Um, however, one thing you've seen is we can only write select queries. You're obviously manipulating the data or you're aggregating the data, but when you return the data, uh, you're only returning um, data that uh, is selected from a particular you know, table or view. So, one thing uh, obviously uh, that means you can't actually um, insert or update or delete data from a particular table okay so let's move on to the stored procedure so stored procedure again is similar to um, a function however the primary difference is you can't actually um, use it in a select query so to execute a stored procedure you'd have to use an xx statement we've already covered um, how to create an SP in one of my previous videos. I can share a link to you on the on here. Um, okay, so let's cover off something quickly then. So I can pass in a parameter into a stored procedure as, as we did for the functions. You can actually have multiple parameters. Um, you also have a begin and end, which means you can write multiple statements in here. And you can actually write complex um, logic in here. Um, similar to a multi-statement function. Um, however, the primary difference is you can actually insert data into the tables or update data or you know even delete the data from the tables. So another aspect to a function which we've already covered in the past is you can actually tune the SP. So um, all most of the um, uh, relational database tools they actually provide you an ability to tune your um, statements within your SP. Um, so you can basically um, get an execution plan for the SPs. Um, and 
basically look at what's what's the performance bottleneck on the SP and basically tune it. I'm I'm not going to cover into how to go how to tune your SPs, but obviously um, that gives an edge over other functions or views. Um, okay, so these are the primary differences. So let's look. Let's actually summarize um, these differences now. Okay, so as we've seen in the examples, we can actually accept parameters on a stored procedure and similarly on a function, but on a view, we, can't, we cannot pass in any parameters. Uh, stored procedures can contain several statements in the body, similarly a function. View can only have one single select sta statement. A stored procedure can call functions and views. Uh, a function cannot call stored procedures. Um, uh, but we can call views. A view um, obviously cannot call stored procedures, but can call functions. Uh, a stored, uh, stored procedure can return multiple values tables. It a function can only return a single value, a single table. Uh, a view can obviously return only a single table, as we've seen in our examples. So one other important thing is, so if you have any calculations that you're doing in your stored procedures, you, or you know some like similar to your code you can you want to have um, a try catch block so if you have any exceptions if you throw any exceptions you can catch them and handle them so you can do that in stored procedures but you can't do them in the functions or views obviously on views you you can only write one single statement so there's less chance of something failing but obviously if you have some divisions where for example um, on your select query where you can it's where it is possible to divide by zero, for example, you know, you can't handle those exceptions. You'll have to handle that outside the view. So um, also we've covered this. We've, we can um, store procedures allow you to insert, update, delete as well in, in addition to select um, a function only a select statement. Um, and we, we already covered view can only do select statement anyway. So. Um, another difference is it sort of procedures cannot be used in a select statement. Again, we've seen this. So um, please write in the comment section what what how can you uh, execute a sort of procedure um, on a function? Um, it can only be used in a select query. Again, as a same to view. Um, Stored procedure, uh, it's an interesting thing. So it's not mandatory to return a value. So when you execute a stored procedure, as I said, we can actually insert data or update data and delete data. So for these, you might not need to return a value. So, you know, it's not mandatory. Uh, but for a function, obviously the main purpose of function is you're getting something, isn't it? So that's why you should return a value. Again, similarly a view, okay? So these are the uh, primary differences. Obviously, for, if you think I've missed out any, please obviously add them in the comment section below. And um, also, if you'd like me to cover any other topics um, that you know you desperately need or you you want to improve um, on, uh, please again mention them in the comment section below. Uh, as always, um, um, I'd like to like you to subscribe and uh, also hit the bell icon if you want to get notified of any future videos. Um, so hopefully this video has been helpful for you. Um, I'm very grateful for you guys watching this video. Um, thank you. All right.